got a brand new one here for you tonight. I think it'll be pretty damn good, man. I played the demo a little while back. It's like one of my favorite demos, you know, I ever played. It's like a weird, uh, mysterious horror kind of game. I guess like a uh, cop show up to a house, like after the neighbors hear gunshots and uh, there's like two dead bodies. They're trying to figure out, you know, what the hell happened here. And you play as like uh, different characters, you know, and like the story kind of unfolds. It's hard to tell you really what it's about, but uh, that's, you know, like a, a quick rundown of it here. But uh, yeah, I'll do a quick intro, man. Let's jump right into it here. Ready to check it out, man. I remember you. Gravel Road. I think that's the uh, dev's name. That's what we're walking on here. Kind of reminds me of, like Max Payne. Walking the blood trail. Which way did I go? Oh, knife to the head guy. Hello there, you having a bad day? You look like you are. Carl. What have you been doing, Carl? Yep, not a good time for you. I forget what to do here. I know she comes to the door. Oh, I think I have to not move. Shit, I forget. <laughs> Already fucking up, man. Forget what I need to do. I think you don't move, though, when she comes. Good. Can I move? I'm gonna take that out of you. You gonna go ahead and wear it? All right. Go ahead and wear that for a little while. Yeah, I kind of remember the demo. It's been a little bit. I mean, I remember it, but I don't. I don't fully remember exactly what happened. It's pretty weird. Pretty damn good though, man. I was like, when that full game comes out, I'm definitely buying it. And I did. You do them damn dishes around here. You throw that fruit away. Oh, don't get hit by the door. I'm here. And so is she. Should I follow her? Check out what you got around here real quick. Don't remember what I need to do. Not going there, we're going up. Might as well follow her. I don't know if it was a good idea, you know, to uh, take off right after her. How can I reach you? Hmm. Why well, you got a doormat there? What the hell? You want to give me that knife, bud? Robert, we, he must have it. Oh, thank you. Thank you for all your help. Everything you've done for me. Wait, is it for what door am I opening though? Had to check. Like, don't you worry, I'm coming. Which one is she going in here? Why would you sneak up on her, man? Knowing, you know, one guy already got a knife to the face. You know there's danger afoot. I think now we play as her. Yeah, you gotta figure out, you know, who killed who or how they died. I, you know, something like that. They kind of tell you about it. But, you know, it's uh, kind of mysterious, you know? No, this can't be real, Amy. I couldn't. I couldn't have done this. I couldn't have. Hey, that ain't what happened. 
or is it? Amy, I'm sorry, but... Oh, shit. There's only one way to find out who killed you. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm going to wear your eyeballs, lady. All right, going back to the bathroom. Put my trusty knife. These are not real. None of this is real. Oh, it's real, buddy. Part of it's going to be real. I don't know what's real about it, but... Damn, imagine doing that, man. I don't think I could. That's pretty brutal. Alright, he's like, check me out. I'm a lady. We got a crack in the floor. That is not good. The whole fucking toilet's gonna fall through. Where am I going? I feel like I need to come in here, but I can't remember why. Uh-oh. Go right in. Whoa, whoa, hey you. What were you doing? You're trying to guide me. Better watch your back around here. Hmm. Are they guiding me? Or guiding me the wrong direction. Whoa. Amy, you in here? Wait, I'm Amy. You're not Amy. Why am I calling Amy? I'm Amy. Amy, honey, are you in the bathroom? Knock, knock. Whoa, whoa. Door tried to hit me. Oh, what are you doing in there, buddy? all but but why am I seeing you because I'm you you are me how you like them eyes buddy they fit good hey where are you going you trying to leave without me Cop now? Who am I? Hello, rookie. Welcome, detective. We arrived here approximately an hour ago based on the report from the nearby residents who heard a gunshot. That was a knife shot, man. Found two corpses during the search of the house, and we are quite confident these incidents are murders. I do a double murder, man. They, you know, kill each other at the same time. Now, please follow me. Well, thank you. I will follow you. You gonna show me a gun? Cause he's got a knife in him. That ain't no gun. That ain't a bullet. Carl Hickson, U.S. citizen, 32 years old, married to Amy, graduate of Dunwich University, psychiatry. He's been working at Winchester Hospital for about three years, but had to quit seven months ago because one of his patients had a fit of anger and attacked Carl, causing enough damage to make him lose both his eyes. What? After this incident, he quit working. I understand. I don't. I'm confused, man. <laughs> Have you informed Amy? 
I've been trying to reach Amy, but have not been able to contact her in any way yet. He mentioned the neighbors heard a gunshot, but his death seems to have occurred with a knife. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Yes, if you wish to continue, oh, there's one more thing. What is it? Twelve days ago, a missing person report was filed for Carl by Amy. Found him. Let's continue, shall we? The other body's upstairs in the house. We shall continue. Lead the way, my friend. Hey, who did that? Well, no shit. Don't put your junk in my face, buddy. Oh, wait a minute. Who the fuck are you? Robert West, U.S. citizen, 34 years old. Single graduate of Dunwich University Medical School. After graduating from university, he left the United States and moved to South Asia where he began working at a local hospital. However, he was fired shortly afterwards by the hospital administration. We haven't yet learned the reason, but we are trying to contact the hospital administration. Did Robert and Carl meet in university? Yep, they participated in common activities during their time at university. Similarly, Amy is also a graduate of Dunwich University Medical School. And shortly after graduating, she married Carl. Mm-hmm. Write that down, buddy. It seems that both deaths occurred due to blows from the same knife. Team will start working and collecting samples for DNA tests shortly. They will be able to determine whose blood and fingerprints are on the knife. It's gonna be everyone's, man. <laughs> you mentioned that Carl had to quit his job because he lost his vision. Have you been able to obtain any information from the hospital about the extent of the damage to his eyes? According to the information we received, he falls into the legally blind category. All right. Well, yeah, if you got no vision. Do we have any info about why Robert was in the house? We can't say anything definitive at the moment, but we found a doctor's bag in the bedroom. We suspect the, that the owner of the bag is Robert West. I understand. It would be a good idea to check the phone records as well. And I want you to access Carl's medical records at the hospital. Also, if you can find the doctor who issued the report, I'd like to speak with them. We'll get you the DNA test results and all the necessary reports as soon as possible. A lot of talking here, man. A lot of reading. Thank you. I will leave the house after looking around a bit. Man, he looks pretty fucking freaked out. <laughs> Hi, Peralta. Oh, shit. Hi, Detective. It's been a tough day. Got blood everywhere, man. Whatever happened between Carl and Robert seems to have started here. If this bag belongs to Robert, does that mean Robert was in this house to treat Carl? Maybe. What the hell's that? Oh, a bullet fired from the gun, shattered the glass, and nearby people are calling the police upon hearing the sound. The bullet clearly missed its target. Or was the primary aim of firing the gun just to make noise and attract people's attention? If so, it might have achieved its goal after all. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? You robbing them? What do you got in that bathroom? That's where I want to go. The bullet that shattered the glass must have been fired from his gun. Despite there being a loaded weapon, both deaths seem to have occurred from knife wounds. Mm-hmm. I agree. Oh wait, wonder whose gun it is and who fired it. We'll find out. One day. Oh, is a is it the shell? Beretta Model 81, 32. Oh shit. Thing went a little too quick for me. What are you doing, buddy? I got my eye on you. Robert West's presence instills a sense of unease in me even though he's dead. 
The cold stare and his open eyes and expression on his face are unsettling. Yeah, he is pretty creepy, man. There are deep stab wounds in his chest and the left side of his abdomen. The cause of death appears to be blood loss. He and Carl met at university after graduating. Robert decided to go to the other side of the world and practice medicine there. Wonder why he was fired from his job. Hmm, is that all we're looking at up here? Alrighty. That guy's like frozen, man. He's like, I don't know what to do. Both, both deaths seem to have occurred. Oh wait, with the same knife, but what the hell were they saying there? Wait, is that where we're going? What are you doing, man? The atmosphere at home is suffocating, as if nobody has entered or left the house for a few days. What are you looking at? Pictures are dusty like the rest of the house. Carl and Amy look very happy in the photos. Alright. Oh, we need to talk to the neighbors and gather information. Are the neighbors out here? Neighbors, you around here? <laughs> Should I have gone out front? Or did I? That umbrella is uh, kind of in the way. Whoa, hello there. New friend. Alright. Got a little bit of wildlife out here. Oh shit, don't you come after me. Cop, I have a gun. I will hunt. Where am I going? There ain't no neighbor out here, man. Oh shit, you can put that away. Should I have done that? Okay, there is a neighbor out here. Might as well keep the umbrella up. Wait a minute, are you Carl? Are you uh, your own neighbor? Hmm. Carl? Hey Robert, is that you? Oh wait, okay, must be in the past here. Yeah, what are you doing here? I'll, are you alone? Yeah, I'm alone. I realized that I haven't talked to my friend for a long time. I wanted to drop by if that's okay with you. Yep, come, or come, let me help you. We can talk inside the house. Or we can, you know, knife fight. Come on, let's take a seat. Oh, we gotta guide him. I was like, what the hell's happening here? And you cold? Why are you shivering? Like, okay, we got nothing to say to each other. <laughs> Is it always rainy around here? Yes, it would be a good idea to take an umbrella with you. Finding this place was quite difficult. Seems like you've put in a lot of effort to hide from people. Although even when we were in college, you didn't like being in crowded places. Yes, I usually prefer quiet places. Well, why did you put so much effort into finding this place, Carl? I wanted to pay you a visit. Okay, then let me tell you the reason for my visit. You see my condition, Robert? I'm like buried in darkness. I'm about to collapse and I don't have the strength to endure this anymore. I came here with the hope that you could be the solution for me. Solution. I want you to give me give me a pair of eyes, Robert. <laughs> He's like, I don't understand. <laughs> There's nothing to not understand. I want two eyes. I want to be able to see you again, Robert. 
This is not possible. You must know that it's not possible, Carl. Why are you asking such a thing from me? How did you even come up with the idea that I could be a solution to this? Oh, come on, Robert. Do you think I don't know why you went to South Asia after graduating from college? Are we doing voodoo? It's like Tales from the Crypt. You graduated here with top honors. You could have entered anywhere you wanted. But you decided to go to the other side of the world and to one of the most crowded places in the world. What was a man who doesn't like crowds doing in such a place, Robert? Do you think I couldn't guess the experiment you were conducting? Do you think I don't know that you're using the poor people there as the test or as test subjects? Of all the things you've done, transplanting a pair of eyes to a blind person must be a piece of cake for you. Damn, <laughs> you got a lot of faith in that guy right there. Why do you want this? <laughs> well, duh, he needs vision. For Amy, Robert, for Amy. Just don't give me no murderer's eyes, man. When we were in university, you were our closest friend. You know how much we loved each other, but now I can't even see her. Sometimes I feel like I've lost her as if, as if every moment I can't see her, she's also ignoring me. As an old friend, all I ask is, or all I ask of you is to transplant a pair of eyes to me. <laughs> He's like, let's go kill a poor guy. <laughs> For Amy, do you understand? Yes, I understand. No, no, you can't understand. <laughs> you can't understand the longing I feel for Amy, Robert. He's like, okay, well, why'd you ask me then? <laughs> all right, first of all, you need to fully realize what you're asking for. You're asking for a new pair of eyes for me. But for me to give you that, I need to take someone else's eyes. Do you understand what this means? I have to end someone's life. It doesn't matter to me, but can you live with this guilt? He's like, I don't give a shit, but what about you? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I want the eyes, man. Let's fucking do it. All right, then in the name of our old friendship, I'll do it. But during this time, you must stay here under my control. You can be my zombie. Also, I need to examine the damage to your eyeballs first and perform necessary cleanings inside the eyelids. Man, it's making my mouth dry. I was reading. Ready, let's go downstairs to my lab. What? Right now? <laughs> He's like, hold on, I wasn't ready to jump right into it. Yeah, I thought you wouldn't want to waste any more time, or are you not sure about wanting to do it? No, I mean, yes, yes, I'm sure. Do you have a laboratory underneath your house? Come on, come with me, you're about to find out, buddy. <laughs> I'll listen for my footsteps and follow. Come on, buddy. You know I'm fucking blind. Was was that telling me? Don't do it. It's quite cold in here. We're a bit underground. All right, I understand that, but what the hell is that smell? He's what's another guy who wanted another transplant. <laughs> now I'm gonna lay you on the stretcher and administer anesthesia. I'll give you a heavy sedative and you'll sleep for a few days. Oh shit, went too quick for me. Uh, I have to get the syringe. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. The fuck you been making? Holy hell. I've gone mad. Was that like a vampire jaw? Uh, Syringe, where are you? There's a lot to look at around here, my friend. A lot to uh, admire, if you want to call it that. There you are. That looks like it's full of blood. Administering the anesthesia now after cleaning around your eyes. I'll transplant the suitable eyes I found for you. And when you wake up, you'll be able to see. If you don't die from that dirty needle...
Oh shit. I was taking a drink and it went too quick. There hasn't been any weight loss, night sweats or fever, no rash or sensory loss. Shit, it's going too quick for me. You gotta read along yourself. Robert, are you there? I can't always stay at home. Sometimes I go out for hunting and oh shit. I'll stay by your side as much as possible, but if you ever want to leave from here, the door code is 1890. Don't recommend you going outside. Robert, are you there? Who are you talking to? Carl, I'm here. It's too early for you to wake up. You need to rest for a few more days. Now, uh, text needs to slow down. Usually you can, uh, you know, click it and advance it, but it's going, you know, on its own. How are you feeling? Awesome. This is incredible, Robert. No amount of thanks can express how grateful I am. Robert, oh shit. Can't imagine what it means for me to see Amy again. Thank you, Robert. I'm grateful to you. He's all, hey, we ain't making out, bud. Here, my personal phone number is written on card. If you experience any side effects, you can reach me at this number. Thank you, Robert. Awfully bright out there. I was like, what do you got? Green herb? Man, you got the crazy eyes, man. Did you do an eye transplant too? Fuck is bright. Amy, are you home? What are you doing in that bathroom? My darling. Amy, honey, are you in the bathroom? Not yet, but she will be. You in here? You making any food? No food, huh? I'm coming up. You better be ready. Wait, what are you doing in that bathroom? I better go to the living room and call her on the phone. Hold up, man. We're going to keep looking around. Alright, now we can. Well, there's the living room over here. Which one to use the living room, damn it? Oh yeah, probably over here. Duh. Busy. What kind of phone she has? Or what kind of phone does she have? Unreachable. Amy, I miss hearing your voice. I miss seeing your face so much. I'm just now realizing that I haven't seen myself in a long time either. Hey, we were just in the mirror. I wonder how do I look right now. Hey, we did check you out, buddy. What are you talking about? I look a bit different. Is this me? I look weird. These eyes, why do they look so familiar? Oh shit, did he take them from Amy? She was looking a little eyeless, you know. These eyes, Amy knows, can't be real. I'm crazy, this can't be real. This is madness. You fuckhead Robert. He can't have done this? No, this can't be real. Yeah, why would Robert do that? What the hell's the matter with him? I have to call Robert. Like, Robert, there's an emergency. Come over right now. <laughs> I promise you'll be fine. Whoa, man, I'm all fucked up. I'm not moving it like that. Something could have happened to Amy. Whoa, shit, man. Or what have you done? This can't be real. Am I calling the little fuck? I got your card, buddy. I know your fucking number. And I got a big old uh, kitchen knife, too. Hey, Robert. He's like, hey, nothing's wrong. Would you mind coming over real quick, though? 
I guess I think there's bleeding in my left eye. It's itching bad. I wonder, I wonder, would you come take a look? What exactly happened to your eye? Do you feel stinging? I don't know. <laughs> you will, though. You're going to feel a lot of, like, heat. A, a lot of heat in your chest, buddy. Okay, I'll be there in a few hours. No, you hurry it up. I'll kill you, you bastard, but how? Oh, we know how. Oh, he's probably the one who shot the gun, trying to shoot me. I need a chainsaw for him, dude. A knife ain't good enough. We need like a machete in one hand, chainsaw in the other. Yeah, where's that fucking knife at? Is that a knife block? Those are little puny ones though, man. Where's a good one? Aha! Michael Myers, man. What am I doing? I can't kill anyone. Well, I think I would if that happened. But Amy already died because of me. I killed Amy. No, no, no. Don't, don't confuse yourself, bud. But first of all, one last thing. I must leave one last note. No, Robert killed Amy. Don't, don't you take the blame. You didn't know he was going to do that. Don't, don't play that fucking game. Wait, where am I putting a note at? In the bathroom? Probably not. <laughs> I just keep uh, keep wanting to go back to the bathroom. Hmm. There should be a notebook and pencil in the bedroom. Alright, good. Good to know. There we go. Who knows what he's hiding in this house. Those sickening smells and the things he said, I should leave a clue. Now I can, I can go to the table and write my note. Good old murder note. Oh shit, what was the password of the door? Fuck. I forget, I tried to remember it. It was like 8 one, oh wait, 1809, maybe. I must hide this note. Hmm. Where should we hide that at? Hide it in my butt? Although when I'm dead, they're gonna check there. Hide it in the coat pocket. Oh, there we go. That's enough, now I'll wait. Wait in a dark corner, man. Adjust the lighting, get it right so you can, you know, pounce on them. I was like, wait, where's my front door at? Where's the fucking front door? Oh, wait. Probably right here. Hello, friend. Come on in. It's like, hey. Yeah, you know what? I, I know I know that you know that I know. <laughs> He's like, hey, buddy, how do you feel? Feel pretty vengeful. Did something happen? You look very pale. Come, let's go upstairs. You can treat me there. <laughs> Come on up to the, the little hallway you die in. Yeah, follow me. Right about here. Look good? Good spot for you? We go in here. Wait, he did take a shot, I think. I think he's got a gun. Oh, wait, do I need to act? Wait, what happened there? Oh, there we go. I gotta attack him. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. What have you done, you son of a bitch? I just did what you asked of me. Whose eyes are these? Hey, you know what you did. Like, there's not, you know, another victim out there you could have had? Oh, we're we gonna find it from her view? 
So it was about to get even darker. If you thought that was dark, man, we're about to you know, be attacked by a madman. Carl, please, let it be Carl. It ain't Carl, man, it's a maniac. Coming for your eyeballs. You ain't Carl. Robert. Hi, Amy. Is, is it a good time for a visit? Not really. What do you want? I'm not the one asking for anything from you. You can be sure of that. I guess you're not going to invite me in. We haven't seen each other since university. Why did you come now? Okay, then recently Carl came to visit me. Carl, where is he? What did you do to him? I haven't been able to reach him for three days. Calm down. I haven't done anything to him except what he wanted. Poor Carl is currently asleep at my house. Is he asleep? What, what does that mean? What do you want from him? I don't want anything from him. As I mentioned earlier, he came to visit me and asked me for something. He asked for a pair of eyes from me. What? He was greatly disappointed after losing his eyesight. He couldn't see you for a long time, so he came to me and asked me for a new pair of eyes to be able to see you again. Don't be ridiculous, Robert. Please don't do such a thing. Uh, if you had seen Carl in that state of collapse, you could never have refused him. I already accepted anyway. I told him that I would give him a pair of eyes to see the woman I love. To see the woman he's married to. Oh wait, is this like a love triangle? Stop it, Robert. I'm married to Carl and I love him. Stop using your obsession with me as an excuse to conduct absurd experiments on Carl. Not making up any excuses. Carl and I had this conversation very openly. And he clearly expressed what he wanted, and now I will give him what he desires so much. Ooh, getting real dark, man. What do you mean by that? I will give him the eyes he desires. Uh oh. Oh, that dirty syringe, man. Not that, anything but that. It's all over now. Is it? Oh, let me poke you a few more times, man. Good measure. Hit you quite a few times, man. As many times as it'll let me. You son of a bitch. <laughs> That's right. Die, 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 bitch. You dead yet? Uh, I think we need to get him about 15 more times. Chop his weenie off. Put it in his other hand. I was going to really, you know, humiliate someone, that's how I'd do it. Put it in their butt cheeks, you know, like a hot dog. What am I going down? Man, I'm all fucked up after that killing. Can't walk right after that shit. These are not real. No, this is real. Let's go to the bathroom. I think that's where we need to go. Whoa, dude, it's making me feel lightheaded. Holy shit. Fuck, man. Carl, get your damn shit together, man. You fucking amateur. Couldn't have done this. I know it's your first kill and all, but man, pull yourself together. Oh, unfinished ending. Yeah, we got multiple endings here. I'll have to figure out how to get the other ones. I'm not sure. Because, I mean, that's a lot to take in already, man. That was, that was quite a story right there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, pretty damn good game, man. I like it already. But I wonder how you get the other ending. I'm not sure what you would do. Maybe, maybe leave and not go to the bathroom? I'm not sure. But I might have to, I don't know if I have to play the whole thing again. Let me, let me check if I can continue. Oh wait, you got a path from here. 
Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There's ways to get different ways you can go. Page has been torn from the notebook, and there's also a pencil right next to it with something written or drawn on the torn page. Where could this page be? Oh, oh, was that what? Wait, I was already checking though. Maybe you have to interact with it first. Which basket? What the hell was in that one? I thought it was the one by the bathroom. I think I found a torn piece of paper from the notebook. It says New Ingle. Oh shit. Good thing I don't need to memorize the code. I should probably check out this address. Let's go, man. Wait, did I do that before? I can't remember. I played last night. I don't think I did that. I can talk to the neighbors. Does that mean I'm leaving? Oh, wait a minute, what the hell? Wait a minute. That is on paper, let me to Robert's house. I'll see what I can find here. She's taking an umbrella with me. Okay, wait a minute. I thought I was getting, you know, the uh, regular ending again. We can run now. Oh, I should run. Okay, wait, am I the cop now? Oh shit, it is different. Okay. It's just as creepy as he does. I wonder how I can get inside. Oh, the door's left open. We'll go right in. I don't think anyone's home. If anyone's inside. Why are you knocking, buddy? Just go right the fuck in. Do I need to remember that code? Yeah, it was looking like that was dragged earlier. I think you gotta move that out of the way or something. Hmm. Isn't that where we're going? Did you bring a gun, buddy? Oh wait, I don't, I don't need one if he's already dead. Shouldn't have to worry about anything. Now what the hell are we doing? She looks like a woman from ancient times. As I examine the painting, I feel discomfort. Or I feel the discomfort I feel when I look at Robert. Is that what it said? Sometimes the, uh, the text goes away too quick. Most of these books are written in languages I don't know. From the symbols on them, I can tell they're about the structure of living beings and nature. So 
from how the books gave the impression that they're related to supernatural subjects. A bookshelf filled with science and supernatural books. There are books in many languages that I can't read. And are we going down into the lab? Oh, there's an umbrella. Might as well grab that. Are we going up there? Are we going to clear those out of the way? You want to drag that shelf, buddy? Do the constant pushing and pulling of the bookshelf. Some scratches have been or have formed on the floor. Well, no shit. There we go. Okay, like an hour later, I'm finally <laughs> getting to what I'm looking for, apparently. Oh, wait, do I need to push it? I was waiting for him. I'm like, you do the work, man. could be waiting down here what was it oh shit what was it 1809 okay I, was like, I, I just saw that about it was probably been about 20 or 30 minutes but <laughs> oh you got a body in there do you is that Amy yeah what the that was my first impression when I came in here man oh it might come in handy wait what the hell are we using that for he's like alright get to work Robert, where the, or what the hell are you? Necronomicon? Okay. Where do I remember this book? It's like, feels like I've seen it before. It's a book I saw at an auction years ago, the stolen book. He's like, fuck. <laughs> uh, no shit. He should be worried. Well, I mean, he's dead now, but. I'll take it to the police station. Yoink. Yeah, that's mine now. Is that a teeth? A tooth? Wait, is that a clue? Oh wait, what the hell? What are you? Oh wait a minute, what are we doing? Is that a puzzle? I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Go through every one of them. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what that is, but we're going to play with it. Is there a clue for what I'm doing here? It's a weird machine, man. What the fuck is that? Uh oh. Now what'd you do? Whoa, whoa. Yeah, what the? What is happening here? You a zombie? Amy, are you okay? <laughs> uh, she's obviously not okay. get you anything? You want to find some eyeballs for you? Hmm, I don't know what that thing did. Brought her, you know, awake or whatever. I don't know if she was already alive. Are we, are we leaving? You want to go with me? Get out of here? You want to hang out here? Got a Necronomicon. We can go have a little fun with that. Am I leaving? He's like, alright, okay, I, you know, I've seen enough. The fuck is this? Yeah, it's a you know half a body, a head with tentacles, headless body. Hey, let me through. Is that where he's fucking sleeping? Hmm. Not sure what the hell we're doing. Must be something I can find here. Uh, there's a lot to find, man. What more do you want to find? We got the Necronomicon. Is that another one? Oh, wait, are we doing more of that? What the hell are we doing? Hmm. 
don't know what that thing is, man. Woke her up, though. Is she doing anything when I do that? Hmm. What the hell does that do? I'm not even sure what that's for. Is there a clue for that machine? Am I doing it right or did I already do it? I don't even know. I'm not sure if we're looking for more. Or if you know, it's time to leave. He's like, alright, good meeting you. Well, I'm gonna get on out of here. I haven't gathered the evidence yet. Oh wait, we had a screwdriver. We're going through a vent? We better not. What the hell is in there? Looking a little claustrophobic, man. We better not crawl in there. Whoa. Hmm. What was that, like an iPod? Take you to the police station. You want to come? Come with? I'll give you a ride. You can get the hell out of here. Unless you want to hang out here a while. Yeah, I don't think she's too happy. She's like, fuck it. I'm, I'm just going to hang here. <laughs> Hello, detective. That's me. Robert is missing. What the? Yeah, what exactly? The corpses they are being sent for an autopsy, but the vehicle crashed on the way. Oh fuck, I better have brought a gun. After the crash, we immediately ran to the vehicle, but Robert wasn't there. Two officers were injured, one is critically wounded. Damn it. Now listen to me, I'm at Robert's house right now. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm at the end of New New Easelton Road in Dunwich. I found some horrible things. Amy Hickson is here, but she seems a bit off. I'm heading to the police station now. Let's meet there with you and your team. Alright, we'll evacuate here and head to the station. Be careful. Dude, you better draw the gun right now. Or grab that and fight with that. I need her to team up with me, man. Two versus one. Because I have a feeling he's going to show up. Oh, no. He didn't show up. <laughs> she turned on me. <laughs> I wonder, is that the final ending? Or I don't know if there's a third one. It looked like there was two different ways you can go on that uh, storyline. That was hard to find though, man. Shit. I played last night. The The full game took me like, you know, 45 minutes to an hour to beat. I probably spent another hour looking for that. I don't even know, man. I, I was like checking the other, you know, the level where the path kind of, you know, like splits off from the, the main path. Or where, yeah, I think, I forget which one I was checking, but couldn't find shit. So I was like, all right, I'll just replay the whole damn game. And uh, got here finally, man. <laughs> it took a long time, though. I don't know how long it'll take to find another ending if there is one. Or if it's just like another part of the story. I'm not even sure. I actually didn't even know I found it. I was just kind of sitting here, like, thinking about what the hell can I do. Got up and got a drink and came back and was like, I was like, wait a minute. I'm out in the rain, uh, you know, with the police car. I was like, what the hell happened there? Enlightenment. Where the hell would that one be? What would that be right there? I don't know if I should go in there because the other one, I like restarted from the beginning or like back here. Hmm. Let me shut that and deal with you, buddy. Hmm. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if you can uh, just you know jump right to where that thing splits off. I don't think that it works like that. You probably gotta do something earlier in the game. But I have no idea what to do for another ending. Oh wait, what is that? Carl, aren't these? What happened? Do you have something on your mind? I was thinking. Who did you get the eyes from? Are you really curious? We can't bring that person back anymore. Are you sure you want to know? Oh, we might have found it right here, man. 
If you really want to know, follow me. But I don't think that will do you any good. Holy shit, I can't have found it that quick. No fucking way, man. Where did you go, buddy? The fuck? Oh. Man, he's quick. He's getting into position, man. He's gonna pounce on me. Those corpses, you're damn right, buddy. We've already established that. You're late to the party. Who's lying on the bed? Uh, you know who. He's the only one surprised right now, man. <laughs> this is madness, Robert. Oh shit, he's gonna kill me. Now he wants the eyes for him. Oh, wait, oh shit, should I have been fighting? I don't know if I could have done anything right there. Carl. So I think I need to fight back right here. Something. I'm not sure. Oh. I was like, what do I do? Now I'm gonna take your eyes, buddy. Oh, we just might. Come on, wake up. You can have his eyes, I'll have yours. Actually, I wouldn't want to look at his eyes every time I look at her, you know? <laughs> oh, shit, I can't believe I found another ending right there, man. That was unexpected. I was about to give up. I was kind of just, you know, fumbling around. But yeah, pretty damn good game, man. Pretty weird. I haven't played one like that before. I knew it was going to be good, though, man. The demo was, uh, you know, pretty eye-catching. So I was like, I got to get that when it comes out. And I'm definitely glad I did, man. That was a fun time. It took me two nights, you know, to figure shit out. But... <laughs> in a couple hours at least like two or three hours of playing but it was worth it man 